Hello, it's me, that annoying cybersecurity training guy again. By now, I'm hoping that you've got your password security down. If not, go back, revisit the video, revisit the email that you should have been sent from your IT team and start implementing those tips and tricks across all of your accounts that you use. If you haven't guessed it already, cybersecurity is so important in this modern digital age. In this video, we are gonna be talking social engineering. So what on earth is social engineering? Well, that's a good question. Social engineering is what we call being fooled into giving access or confidential information to an unauthorized person. Cyber criminals use sophisticated and cunning attacks to convince you to give away your key information. And the bad guys are getting better and better at this. So we really need to know our stuff when it comes to social engineering and what to look out for and what to do and not do as the case normally is. Some attackers will call you, email you, even text you pre pretending to be a senior member of staff or someone from the IT department. Others will email you a malicious link in the hope to infect your computer with software that captures everything you type. Some even go to the extremes of coming to your workplace and pretending to be workmen in order to get through your security and gain access. So here's what you've got to do to stop being a victim of social engineering. Do not give away sensitive information over email or phone, especially to inbound requests. Now, this may seem obvious, but we see it happen so much, especially as we're polite British folk. Caller IDs and email addresses can be spoofed. So don't rely on these as proof of identity. And watch out for people bypassing security measures by them asking you to hold open doors for them. And as mentioned a few moments ago, they can often do this by holding boxes or carrying ladders. And this brings us on to this video's pro tip. If you see someone wandering around in a secure area or trying to get through a secure door without a key code or a key card, and you don't know who it is, ask them. Don't ignore them. Ask them politely who they are and who are they here to see. Okay, that's it for social engineering. Nothing too complicated, but please make sure you put these tips and tricks into practice to make sure that the bad guys hate you. Until next time, stay secure.